Hi there, it's Tony from HubsApp.com and in this video I'm going to share with you five of the tips that I personally use when I'm selling any website on Flipper.com. Okay, so on this page um, is a blog post on my blog, uh, HubsApp.com. So I'll just quickly run you through that. So as I've said, I've been selling websites for way more than 10 years now on Flipper and sold about $119,000 worth on Flipper itself and thousands of thousands privately. So these are some of the things that um, I do with every auction that I list on Flipper. So let's quickly run through them. So the first one is there's no need to have a listing of, of really more than seven or 10 days unless you really want to, if your website's worth five or six figures, then yes, you'll need to list it for, you know, maybe 30 days. But if you think you might be getting, you know, in the hundreds or the low thousands, you know, the low four figures for your website, seven days is plenty. There's really no need to list um, for any longer than seven days. Personally, I list on a Monday, uh, Monday evening generally. So it'll give the full seven days, a full weekend in there, and it will end on the Monday, on the following Monday. So the second thing is to start your listings at $1. Uh, this will encourage more people to bid because it's so low. And when investors are looking for sites to buy, when they actually do searches, they'll search for websites that have got bids on and, and quite a few bids. So the more bids you can get at a lower amount, the more people will find your, your auction listing uh, before it ends. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, um, reasonable reserve price. So the reserve price you set initially, you can always lower it within the within the auction itself. So what I generally do is set the reserve price to be the amount that I will be more than happy to accept. Um, and like I say, you can lower it during the auction um, if it's not quite reaching what you think it might reach. You can lower it so to make sure it will sell. Um, you don't want to set a reserve price too low because as soon as it reaches that reserve price, you can't then raise it. You know, your site will sell. Okay. Um, there's a free report on this page. Uh, I recently sold a website and made just short of $2,000 in pure profit. Uh, it took me about 60 minutes of work. So there'll be a link right below this video. Um, you can come to this page. If you're interested in this report, just put your email in. The report will be emailed to you. Um, it's full details of, of the site. And, and how I did it. So move on to number four. Uh, provide as much detail as you can within your auction listing on Flipper. This is mainly so you don't spend all week constantly answering emails. So just make sure you put all the information in there. You know what the site does, what features does it have, traffic, earnings, and anything else that you think someone might ask. Post as many screenshots as you can. Um, that will make the week that you are, your site's listed a lot easier for you to manage. Okay, the, five, uh, the fifth one, which is possibly my favorite one, is what I call the buy it now trick. So I'll never add a buy it now price um, until the very last day of the auction, usually within the last 12 hours. And I'll base that price on what the current bid is and how much interest I've got uh, or I've had during the seven days. What I'll normally do, let's say if, if the site is currently up to $3,000, then my buy it now will always be at least four, four and a half, five, even sometimes if there's a lot of interest. And what I'll do, as soon as I add the buy it now price, then I'll instantly message everyone that's bid on the site. And when I do that and they can see that the buy it now button is there, and they will potentially lose the auction because someone else will beat them to it. Almost always within an hour, you know, sometimes within a few minutes, someone will push the button and buy the site. So it's a great way to get a lot more on the very last day of the auction um, because people are going to think they're going to miss out. You know, you know that they are interested already because they've bid on the site. So as soon as you add the buy it now price, you will get someone. To, to come and buy the site. Okay, so that's all for now. Um, if you if you're interested in buying and selling websites, then you know, 
check out my blog, check out more of my videos, subscribe, like, comment, whatever you feel like doing. Um, and if you want the free report, like I say, there'll be a link to this blog post right below this video. Come and check it out. And that's all for now. Okay, so I'll see you soon.